Hey guys, welcome to another maths tutorial by Magic Monk. Today we're going to talk about what is a polynomial, which is a word that you've probably seen before quite a few times already if you are up to this stage of maths, but no one has ever really given you a definition of what it means, and uh, you've probably um, don't know how to classify whether an equation is a polynomial or not. So to define what it is, I'm going to go back to uh, function notation. So if you haven't seen the functions tutorial, you should probably go back and watch that. But basically a function is when we have an input variable called x and we put that input variable inside a function and that's when we conduct a specific set of uh, operations on it for example x we might uh, multiply it by 2 and then sorry we might square it and then multiply it by 2 multiply it by 2 and then we might plus a number for example 10 okay so now we're going to talk about so if you understand what a function is uh, then you can continue with this uh, so now we're going to talk about what is a polynomial function. A polynomial function. And a, poly a polynomial function is when the powers of the uh, input variable and sometimes you might have more than one input variable but in this case we just have x are positive sorry non negative integers so what are integers again basically integers are uh, whole numbers and you are not allowed fractions or decimals and uh, we can also include zero so for example zero one two three but you can't have a negative number so negative one is definitely not allowed and you can't have decimals or you can't have fractions so these are the non-negative integers and we, there is no limit on the coefficient of the variables so the two here which we call coefficient coefficients can be real so real just means any uh, any sort of number really you can have integers you can have you can have uh, negatives, you can have uh, decimals, you can have fractions, you can have any sort of number uh, until you get to imaginary numbers. Uh, but that's, that's a long time down the track. But anyway, coefficients can be real numbers. So, whereas the powers, which are these numbers here, the powers here, 
Sorry, I should have said that earlier on. The powers have to be non-negative integers. Non-negative integers. How hard is it to draw a circle? Okay. So applying that to this, um, I'm now going to give you some questions. So I'm going to ask you, identify whether these are polynomial functions. So question one of x equals x cubed plus x squared plus 2x, 5. It's the power of 3 plus x power of negative 2 plus x to the power of half. one over x plus three and last one okay so let's have a look and see if these are polynomials all you have to do to check whether a function is a polynomial is to look at the powers and you can see that the powers of x in this function, they are all non-negative integers. Non-negative integers. So yes, this is a polynomial. Now if you look at question 2, what's happening is we have a number here that is a negative power. And notice how it says we want non-negative integers for polynomial functions. So, this is not a uh, polynomial. What about question 3? We have power of a half. Also, does not satisfy the requirement. We want integers. This is a confusing one. 1 over x. Because it might seem like the power of x here is 1, which is the same as this case here, but x to the power of negative 1 is the same thing as 1 over x. So this can actually be rewritten as x to the power of negative 1 plus 3. By the way, the constant terms, they are allowed in a polynomial. So these are, these are okay. These are okay. But uh, we have a negative power here, so this is not a polynomial. And x to the power of a half is the same thing as the square root of x. So this is also not allowed, not a polynomial. So the only one that is a polynomial in this uh, question is number one. Number one is a polynomial function. Okay, uh, another thing that you could have a look at is why do we need to know if, why do, are we defining whether a function is a polynomial is, you can try drawing a couple of graphs of polynomial functions and non-polynomial functions and just have a look at what the difference is. So, if you remember the normal straight line equation, the uh, quadratic equation, the cubic equation, we probably haven't gone through cubics yet. Uh, these are all polynomials because they are all x raised to a 
non-negative integer power but as soon as you have x raised to an, a negative power for example negative 1 look how weird the graph becomes oops sorry that's x minus 1 y equals x to the power of negative 1 look at the equation now actually I'll just clear that for you so you can see it better so have a look at the equation here this is now uh, discontinuous function which means uh, it's not the lines are not joined at x is equal to zero so there is a break in the line and then same thing with negative two right again there is no the lines never join up uh, what about x to a half uh, again the line stops at zero so it doesn't even go past x equals zero so um, a function that is not a polynomial gives us some pretty interesting graphs that are out of the ordinary that is they have a break somewhere and uh, I guess if you want more information you can always read some more maths books but all we need to understand at this point in time in year 11 maths B uh, is whether a function is a polynomial or not okay thanks for watching see you next time